Greetings, Dr. Joseph Martin here. Tiger or sheep? Which one are you? Tiger or sheep? Now, <clears throat> there's many different kinds of meetings to this story that I'm going to tell you, which is a, a really well-known ancient and modern Hindu story brought to us back to our times by Paramahansa Yogananda. So it means on some level, in a psychological and or social level, are you a leader or are you a follower? Are you a heart leader? Are you a thought leader? Are you a, a spiritual leader? Or are you a follower who's someone who's unconscious and doesn't do much with their life? The real deeper meaning uh, for the spiritual traditions of the planet, particularly here Hinduism and Buddhism and others, is whether or not you are spiritually awake or whether you are still spiritually asleep. And it's a story about any one of us or all of us as individuals about what it takes to wake up to your own true nature. Now, <clears throat> the tiger, the meaning of the tiger in this particular story is linked to Lord Shiva, to Shiva himself, who, as we know in Hinduism, is a god who is one who is the destroyer god. He destroys all illusions, he destroys all fears, and he destroys all desires. And that's the nature of Lord Shiva. He's often shown in all the replicas we have of him, either the three-dimensional images or the paintings of him, wearing a tiger skin and often uh, sitting on a tiger skin as well, or one or the other, or both. The meaning of Lord Shiva with the tiger skin, and remember these tiger skins are passed down over centuries by the lineage of the gurus that they're in, those yogis uh, who uh, use those still today. Lord Shiva uh, sitting on the tiger skin means the overcoming of all illusion, fear, and desires once again. Very, very important to understand this. It's the awakened consciousness, the superconsciousness, the Christ consciousness, the cosmic consciousness even, that overcomes the illusions of the ego, the third dimensional world, and the illusions of fear, desire, death, and anything else that's an attachment to this ever-changing, illusionary, non-existing world in the highest sense of the reality of the one source. So that's what tiger means in this story here that we have. Each one of us overcoming the attachments to the illusions that we live with our ego existence in this everyday life. Now, what is the meaning of sheep in this story? Now, yes, sheep are lovely animals and we highly respect those and so on, but there's a different symbolic meaning to sheep here. Sheep, it means those who are simply followers, who are unconscious, they're in an imprisoned enclosure, and they basically don't know who they are and what they're doing here, so they have no personal sense of true identity. That's the deeper psychological and spiritual and social meaning here of sheep. Well, let's hear the story then. And this is the story of tiger or sheep. And it's my own paraphrase, if you like, of Yogananda's version of this tiger story that's an ancient and a modern story. So once upon a time in a valley, a lovely pastoral valley, in a wooden enclosure were a group of sheep who would graze there day and night and it was all out in the open. There were quite a few sheep all in this enclosure and it was surrounded um, to, at a distance in the mountains um, in the distance by a forest that was up there. These sheep had lived within this enclosure their entire lives. And it so happened that within this enclosure, there was a young baby orphan male tiger. And he would chew the grass and he would bleat like the rest of the sheep. He would go, bah, 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 just like all the other sheep. And he had no idea who he was, because he was the only one in this particular enclosure who was there with all these other sheep just grazing, eating grass, and sleeping, and really not doing much else with their life at all. 
Well, as it turned out, one fine day, from the top of the mountain and down through the forest, came an adult male tiger. And he came prowling around the enclosure. The sheep were all frightened to death, so to speak, and went bleeding across the field to the far end of the enclosure, frightened for their lives. But the tiger wasn't interested in the sheep. He was interested in this one baby male orphan tiger. So he hopped the fence easily, and he came up to the tiger, who was frightened and crying and, and bleeding, bah, bah, don't eat me. And the male tiger said, I'm not going to eat you. He said, what are you, a tiger, doing with all these sheep in this enclosure? And the baby tiger, who is now actually more like four or five years old, the young orphan tiger, said, what are you talking about? I'm not a tiger, I'm a sheep. And why won't you eat me? He said, I'm not interested in eating you at all. I'm here to tell you and show you that you're actually a real tiger. Well, the young one couldn't understand this and didn't even believe him. He said, what do you mean I'm a tiger? I eat grass and I'm bleeding bah, like the sheep too. And the tiger said, oh, come down here and let's just hop the fence a little bit. There's a little lake down the way and with a pond and clear water and it's just all kind of calm right now. Come on down to the edge of this, this water and we'll look in the water. And so the tiger, the baby tiger, the young tiger went with him. Well, they padded their way down to this water, the edge of the water. And the male adult tiger said, now look in, in the water. And what do you see? Well, to the surprise of this young orphan tiger, he saw a reflection of himself. And when he looked to the side, he saw that the adult male tiger looked exactly like him. And that they were reflecting the same identity, the same kind of individual or species. And the tiger was shocked with this new recognition. He had no idea that he was actually a tiger. And he turned to the adult male tiger and said, I can't believe it. And he said, yes, you are a real tiger. You are not and you have never been a sheep. And the, the young one said, so what, what do I do? How do I become a tiger? Well, said the adult male tiger, you must learn to roar like a real tiger. And he said, the young one said, well, what does that sound like? And so the adult male tiger let out this roar, just like that. <coughs> yes, it was. <clears throat> and he encouraged the young adult male tiger to roar as well. Well, it took a few tries, but eventually the young male adult tiger <clears throat> did learn to do it. And I'm going to ask you to do it for yourselves right now. Join in this living story. That's good. I can hear you. That's very good. <clears throat> so, in fact, the adult male tiger said, <coughs> Excuse me, you're going to have to stop eating grass and you're going to have to learn to eat meat, the fresh meat of life, the things that are going to empower you for your new identity and your new life here. So he told him about what he had to do to eat meat. Now, this is not about being vegetarian or a meat eater. This is a symbolism in, in the story to eat the meat or the life substance of the things that feed you. That's simply what it means. And thirdly, said the adult male tiger to the young tiger, never go back to the enclosure. You must live with me free in the forest and carry on or climb the mountain. And of course, that's exactly what they did. The young male tiger followed the adult male tiger the rest of his life, and they went roaring through the forest, having adventures, finding out about themselves, living their true identity, and learning from one another, and enjoying freedom and a perfect authenticity of being who they really are. Well, that's the wonderful story of the tiger and the sheep. And I encourage you to reflect upon who you are, make a decision, and take some action on this, and symbolically start to roar with your authentic power 
your own liberation, your sense of love, and eat and or receive and pull into yourselves. It's not really the food of a physical substance, the food of life, the food of love, the true authentic things that will support you in your true nature and true identity. As you've made this self-realization, self-reactivation of being a true tiger. All love and joy and encouragement on living your new identity and enjoy the living story that you are. Dr. Joseph Martin, all blessings. Om Namah Shivaya.